So first of all, Paul is just an amazing individual. When you think about a Ryan High graduate giving back to his community by mentoring young men, he truly resonates with students um, like no one I've ever seen. He really cares about students. He has taken these students along a path that will help them be successful after they graduate. It's just been the continued work that he's done with, uh, with, with the students that I have here. He started working with Trenton and when I first got Trenton, he was he was a handful, I'm not gonna lie to you. He was a handful, we were constantly having some disciplinary issues, um, you know, some altercations with other students, some blow ups with teachers. Uh, and we kind of were having these incidents almost every, every week, every other week. And then we started having him work with Paul and slowly but surely, the incidents started to decrease. And instead of being every other week, they started to be maybe once every six weeks. And then it became like once a semester. And then they kind of ceased to exist. And it's just a testament to, to Paul. I mean, he always sees the best in kids. Why he should be the volunteer of the year? I mean, because he's awesome. It's pretty simple. A lot of people that I know, a lot of teachers, a lot of adults, um, volunteers even, there's just sort of this gap between them and students, no matter how hard they try, where we don't feel similar enough but Paul has always been able to relate to me and other students as if he were one of us and make us feel like we were one of him. I think that that ability alone is just amazing. So many students don't have a special person in their lives to help them see the potential for themselves. Sometimes all we know is what is around us. So if we can see that someone who has come from a similar background perhaps, can be successful and give students a chance to see that there are career opportunities and just possibilities for a successful life with a happy family. He's my mentor. Uh, he helps me out in class. He helps me out as well as anything out of school. I don't know, I feel like him more as a brother to me, a big brother. I remember uh, after I had left Calhoun, I had moved and I was now zoned for Strickland. So I was, in, I was at Strickland and I was playing football. Paul randomly showed up to one of my games. And uh, when I was walking off the field, um, it was a surprise and I saw him and I just, I was so happy that someone who just volunteered to meet a random kid liked me enough to come and, and see that. And that was, that was really cool. He really puts in his heart into helping these kids. He makes it a priority to always fit them into his schedule no matter what's going on. And he really wants to see these kids succeed. Surprise! We're celebrating you as the CIS Volunteer of the Year. Really? Yeah, of all the oh. CIS. Not just didn't I have the well, all the CIS. Like you won that. Yeah. So remember I kept telling you I was going to tell you have this ability just to relate to the students and provide that connection that so many of them need. So it says a lot about a person <laughs> when they're willing to give back like you're giving back to And uh, thank you. You're making a difference from playing it forward. Congratulations, Paul, on winning the CISNT Volunteer of the Year. We are so grateful for the seven years you have spent mentoring. Congratulations on being Volunteer of the Year. You absolutely deserve it. Congratulations, Paul. We're very proud of you, and you deserve everything. Congratulations, Paul. If anyone deserves it, it's you. <laughs>